Now, Josh Healy is a poet and peace activist who is supposed to participate in a poetry session at the J Street Conference called Culture as a Tool for Change. But the event was cancelled and Mr Healy was disinvited or had the invitation withdrawn. We spoke to him earlier and asked him why he thought he'd been uh, uh, disinvited. J Street, this is their first conference. They're trying to be uh, the new, quote, pro-Israel, pro-peace uh, lobby here in D.C. Um, and so what that means is they're walking a fine line between various groups um, and myself and the other poets that were supposed to present. Uh, we, I see myself as yes, pro-peace and you can call me pro-Israel but only if you call me pro-Palestine as well. Um, and so I think we were bringing up issues that were perhaps beyond the scope of what they were willing to address at their first conference. And what were some of those issues that you did bring up? Uh, the issues that we bring up is, is what you guys talk about every day, which is the human rights of Palestinians, um, the human rights uh, abuses that have been going on in Gaza, both in the, you know, the war that happened this past January, as well as for years, as well as the separation wall, as well as increased settlements. But specifically, we were invited to this conference to talk about the use of art as a way to have dialogue, as a way to have open debate. Um, and so it's ironic that that debate was closed before we were even allowed to, to open it. To have that hard discussion, it's a hard conversation to have. And uh, apparently it was a little too much for some of the organizers. J Street says that uh, one of the reasons they canceled the performance was that in some of your work, you made a comparison between um, Auschwitz and Guantanamo Bay, the detention center there, Correct. and that was the reason. Correct. Uh, so basically what happened is this isn't about me. The attacks that have been going on have not been about me, but about J Street. And J Street is trying to be this center, center left, new Jewish American lobby. And they've been getting attacked for weeks and months by the right wing um, by the, you know, neo-Zionist organizations that are scared. They're scared because most American Jews actually support peace and actually believe in a two-state solution and are not w represented well or honestly by APAC. Well, that's a good point you make there because if J Street, if that group doesn't represent you and by you I mean uh, progressive liberal Jews right. and APAC doesn't, right then who represents you? That's a very good question. Um, and to be honest, there are groups that are doing good work. There's a group called Jewish Voice for Peace. There's a group called Tikkun, which comes out of the tradition of Tikkun Olam, of Jewish healing and repairing the world. There are small grassroots groups, but J Street is seen as a new powerful um, lobby um, here in DC. And so when these right-wing groups were using me and these poems to attack J Street, it wasn't about me. But the issue was J Street, rather than um, support free speech and support a free and open debate, I feel like they got scared. And so rather than have this open debate, they closed it, not all the way, but by closing us, they closed it a little bit. 